OK, time for the weather now, but first let's take a look at some of your pictures. Lorraine Lambeth photographed the autumn colour at the Sir Harold Hillier Gardens today. Tracy Hayden brightened up a cloudy day with these vibrant flowers in Holm in Dorset. And Lorraine Molsoff ca captured the view from Whitehorse Hill in Uffington. Here's Alexis with the forecast. Hello there, it's been a mainly dry day today, but we see the arrival of some heavy rain tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. Some of us saw some brightness today. This sunny scene was photographed in Exbury in Hampshire by one of our weather watchers. So through the day tomorrow, we'll have rain at first, followed by some sharp showers during the middle part of the day, but mainly sunny and dry through the afternoon. So after a clear start to the night, we'll start to see the rain band move in from the west. It could be quite heavy and persistent during the early hours of the morning affecting many places as well and it's a mild night tonight with lows of between 12 and 14 degrees so it will be a very wet start to the day tomorrow for the rush hour drive to work that rain band fragmenting and clearing eastwards following it one or two sharp showers during the middle part of the day but the afternoon should be mainly dry still a fair amount of cloud for eastern areas and temperatures will be up to around 15 possibly 16 degrees so a little bit lower than today starting to feel a little bit fresher as we head through the weekend so on the inshore waters tomorrow from Selsey Bill to Lyme Regis. The winds are west or southwest, four to six, backing southerly, six or seven for a time, and the sea state is occasionally rough. Further rain is expected tomorrow night during the early hours of Saturday morning. That could be quite heavy and persistent once again, and may lead to localised flooding in a few places. A slightly fresher night tomorrow night with lows of around nine or ten degrees. So we start the weekend on a fairly soggy note with some rain moving eastwards. That rain band will clear eastwards, followed by some brightness, increasing cloud later on, but also some sunny spells and maybe the odd scattered shower after a fairly wet start to the weekend. Just a reminder, first thing on Sunday, the clocks go back an hour. That is Halloween, of course, something to be aware of as we head into the weekend. So here's the outlook for the weekend. Rain at first tomorrow. Through the course of the afternoon, it will turn brighter with sunny spells. Rain at first on Saturday. You can see there's a theme developing here. And rain at first on Sunday with fairly brisk winds, gusting maybe up to 50 miles per hour for coastal stretches. There's still some uncertainty about the wind's strength. Into the new working week, wet at first on, on Monday, but turning cooler later on. And Alexis is keen to get your Halloween weather pictures. You can send them in to us, southweather at bbc.co.uk. We'd be very grateful. That's it. Do join us tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.